Hi, this is Willie Banks, Mr. Triple Jump for Pro Tips for You. And today I want to show you how we do the first part of the long and triple jump run. What we're going to do is what I call the momentum phase or the power phase. That's when you generate force. You want to put as much force down on the runway as possible so that you don't have to run the whole way. You'll keep your head down in the first two strides, the next two strides you come up a little bit, the next two strides you come up a little bit, and then your final stride you're into your regular stride pattern and you're starting to get your legs underneath you and run. We're going to talk about the first six to eight strides of the run. Now, I've got Gerard here who is going to show you how to begin. When you start out your first two strides, you're looking down towards either your feet or the runway. By the time you slowly come up, you will be in position to run down the rest of the way. I have two cones. One is your start and one down the runway here. That cone is your marker for your eighth or sixth, depending on how you want to run, stride. So Gerard, why don't you show us how to do that? He's going to go, he's going to start. The first two strides, like I said before, one, two will be like a six o'clock. You're looking straight down as if you're looking like at a clock. The next two strides will be, say, at seven o'clock. It'll be about uh, six to seven feet out in front of you. The next one will be a little bit further down the runway. So I call that like eight o'clock. And then the next one is down to the end of the pit or what I call nine o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock. Here we go. Excellent. You notice the body position? Gerard was leaning forward, gathering momentum, force. The difference between speed and force? Speed is just running. And anyone can blow on you and you fall down. Force is like a football player running through the line. He doesn't want to get knocked down, so he uses as much force, so his body is leaning forward and he's running down the runway. That is the type of run that we want to see in an athlete going in the first phase, the first eight strides of the run. Excellent job, job, Gerard. There is an alternate way to do your run. Remember we talked about in another series, we talked about the start being a static start and a moving start. For the, the first phase, there could be a moving start. So we're going to show you how that works. I like this because when you hit the mark, you should have a nice even, uh, equal stride pattern the whole way. So let's see how this is done. Now remember, the start of the run is at the cone. This is extra to try and get your momentum going before you hit the phase. So here we go. Gerard, show us how it goes. Keep your head down. Excellent. You notice how he comes up slow. That was an excellent takeoff uh, and first phase of the run. And that is the first phase of the long and triple jump run. My name is Willie Banks, Mr. Triple Jump, for pro tips for you. See you soon.